All right, so you know how CNN has panels sometimes where they have Trump supporters on, and they ask Trump supporters how they think Trump's doing with the economy, if they regret their vote for Trump, and things like that. Well, they had another panel like this, except this time they planted a guy who was always against Trump, who's a devout leftist, far-left socialist, always hated Trump. And the reason why we know this is because we have people who know this guy, who has seen his posts from the past, who has seen some of the videos that he has posted from the past, and know that this guy never, ever voted for Trump, but yet CNN planted this guy purposely to kind of portray him as like this this, this Trump voter that completely regrets his decision voting for Trump. And I'm going to bring you this evidence today, but also Arthur Shopper was someone else who they picked for this panel. And as you know, he's been on our channel quite a bit, debating different people on different topics. And also, if you've been a longer subscriber, you probably remember us having to go into the thick of things in Berkeley and rescue him while he was surrounded by this horde of Antifa members spitting on him. That was a pretty intense video. That was from a live stream when we went to Berkeley a couple of years back, or almost two years back now. But he was on this panel as well, and he knew also right away that this guy was never a Trump voter. And the CNN planted him. Now, this is fake news. This is why they call CNN fake news. And this is, I hope I hope people see this, because the majority of Americans probably think this guy's an actual Trump supporter or was a Trump voter. He never voted for Trump. This is clear and obvious to the people who actually know this guy, who have seen his post that I have screenshotted and some of the videos that I have saved. But first, let's go to the question by CNN and see his answer. All right, we are more than 18 months into the Trump presidency, so we thought it would be a good time to check in with Trump voters to see how they're feeling today. I sat down with a panel of people from California, Texas, Ohio, and New York, all of whom voted for Donald Trump. At one time, these folks were all on the same side, excited about this outsider running for president. But as you'll see, times have changed, and today some very feel very differently. So here now, our next Pulse of the People. How many of you are still just as excited today as you were on Election Day about President Trump? Maybe more so. And how many of you, the rest, would you say that you regret your votes? Raise your hands. See that guy with the black shirt and blue tie right there? He's the only one that raises his hand saying that he absolutely regrets his vote. He's the one that openly, completely says that he completely regrets his vote. And he goes on to give a reason. And this is The Plant by CNN. Let's continue. Jeremy, what do you regret about your vote? Uh, in my mind, on the way I look at him now, I think he's a monster. I think he's a bigot. I think that he's doing a lot of things to ruin people's lives. Um, I don't think that he has, I think that he's taking this country in the wrong direction, and it's a terrifying time for me. There you go. He's a bigot. He's a monster. He's taking this country in the wrong direction. He's ruining people's lives. Well, Mr. Jeremy, we know that you never voted for Trump and that CNN picked you to be a plant on this panel. Number one, we know this because of this post where you say that you're a socialist. And also from this post where you talked about how we should be banning firearms. I'm not talking about hunting rifles, even though, I mean, if I had to vote for them to be banned, would I? Absolutely. The guy that killed the 50 and the son of a fuck that killed uh, Christina Grimmie, if they did not have access to those weapons, all of those people would still be alive. It has nothing to do with terrorism. It has nothing to do with religion. It has to do with the fact that they were able to have those. Combat weapons should be just as hard, if not harder, to get than illegal drugs. I do not believe that it was an Islamic terrorist act. And everybody that's trying to say it was just wants to mask the fact that had he not been able to get access to those weapons, those people would still be alive had the murderer who killed Christina Grimmie had not access to his weapon, she would still be alive. It makes me disgusted at the majority of this country, but then what can I expect anything less from, you know, a majority of half the population nominating a person like Donald Trump? Anything less from, you know, a majority of half the population nominating a person like Donald Trump? Nominating a person like Donald Trump? Yeah, so <laughs> this guy never voted for Trump. Nice nice try, CNN. Nice try picking this guy 
uh, planting this guy. Nice job trying to pull the wool over the eyes of the American people and planting this guy within this panel as the guy who regrets his vote for Trump. This is why people call you fake news. This is why if anyone should be banned, I don't think anyone should be banned, but if anyone were to be banned for fake news or spreading conspiracy theories or something like that, it should be you. It should be CNN. Because you have retracted more stories than even Fox News does. And I call them propaganda as well. How's that black hole doing that Don Lemon said swallowed that airplane that one time? I mean, <laughs> do you guys, you guys talk about Alex Jones spreading conspiracy theories, but you have one of your main pundits talking about black holes swallowing airplanes. And now you're planting a guy who you try to pass off as a previous Trump supporter who regrets his vote, but yet come to find out he's a far-left socialist who hate guns and always hated Trump, according to the people that we've talked to, and seemingly from the posts on his Facebook page. Those were all Trump voters. I'd say I, I find it fascinating when you bring these people together, and we talk about the phenomenon in the country right now with the president's approval rating, despite a booming economy, has a ceiling at 42 to 45 percent. What you see there is the ceiling. You see that even some people who voted for Donald Trump will not support him because of the policies he has at the southern border. I'll let, leave it up to you guys. What do you think? Do you think that this guy's a plant or, and, and believe the people who say that they know this guy, who sent me these videos, who sent me these pictures, who sent me these posts? He locked down his Twitter account. Do you believe that this guy voted actually voted for Trump or do you think that he is certainly a plant by CNN, which is a, it seemingly this seems to be the case. I believe the latter. I think he's a plant by CNN. And I think that this is a big reason why a lot of people call CNN fake news. You've seen them stage things at protests before. You've seen them stage protests before. You've seen them sit at the end of streets and pretend like they were both, like two different reporters were at different locations when they were in the same exact location, but they wanted to make the viewer think that their, their reporters were at two different locations. Okay, this is what CNN does. This is what the mainstream media does as a whole. And I believe, personally, I believe the people who are telling me they know the guy, who sent me these posts and these videos, and there you go, his own post, calling himself a, a far-left socialist, his own posts that, were, that are vehemently anti-Trump today, uh, he, tons of posts, tons of pictures of him being against Trump. I believe that this is certainly a plant by CNN to touch on the issues that they exactly wanted to talk about and get people kind of arguing.